Right guys, back on the bank again today. I'm gonna to try and do some chub fishing. What I really want is a big chub, like six pound plus. I mean, it might be a bit, a bit much to ask for, but like my old man says, you ain't gonna catch him sitting in your armchair at home, am you? So get yourselves on the riverbank and uh, try and catch the one you want. So today, I'm gonna to try and catch the six pound chub. That's my target, a big one. Uh, it'd be a personal best for me. My best is only just over five. So a six pound view, oh, it'd just be amazing. So simple tactics, same as I fished on that little, li, li, on that little river, um, bread. It looks like a bread day today. It's, uh, it's not very colored, it looks bang on. So this is the swim, well, the first swim. I'm gonna give it 15 minutes, same as a little river, keep moving. This is on the river seven, so it's a bigger scale but the same principles apply. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. So let's see what we can catch. Right, first one caught today from the seven. It is just over 50 ounces, which is three pound, two ounces. First one of the day, three pound, two ounces, which is not a bad start on the bread. Right, chunky little fish. Think that three pound two ounces. Hopefully, catch one one double the size of this. That's what I'm after. But it's a beautiful fish to start with. Love chub fishing, same tactics, just on a larger scale. Obviously, it's a bigger river. But uh, hopefully, catch a few more of this on this freezing cold day. And the great thing about this, anyone can do it so easy. It's beautiful. There you go, absolutely amazing. Right, peg number three, don't even get a bite on the last peg. Let's see if this one does any better. So, exactly the same. A bit like me with the chub video, there's nothing uh, complicated, you know what I mean? There's, nothing, there's no need to overcomplicate it, fishing. A little lump of bread. Squeeze it on, like that. Breadcrumb. I find the finer you can blitz your breadcrumb, the better. You want it like, well, you like like tar compadre, but it's hard to get like that. But the finer the better. And like a tiny little carpet. Let's have a go. Right lads, right, I just got to a new peg and uh, look what I found. There's no excuses. It's probably 20 pound line that is. You know what I mean? I mean? Come on lads, we can do better than this. Look at this, oh yeah. We all love fishing. And I don't want to be the bloke saying, oh, uh, but come on, we can do better than this. This is why we get a bad rep. You know what I mean? Look at it. Don't take long just to pick it up, put it in your bag and chuck it in a proper bin. You know what I mean?
Right, I'm gonna try and fish half hour into dark. Never done it before, so see if it makes a difference. Say, try and catch this six pounder. Just had one, probably about three again. So uh, we'll keep trying. Just caught a right chunk. Proper lad. I don't know how big he is, we'll weigh him up in a bit. We might just be on the feed now. It's getting bloody cold though, I reckon it's about minus two now. But we'll keep going, see if we can get another one. Right, I've ended up with two. Um, we'll weigh them up now, see how big they are. We'll get them back. I can get home because it's absolutely freezing. Here they are. Right, I'll do the small one first. Let's have a look. It is three pound two. There she is, three pound two. Beautiful chub, cracking fish. It's way the bigger one. Four pound, four pound, one ounce. Let's have a look at this one. There we go. Four pound one ounce on the bread again. You want to see a size comparison? Then we'll get them back. There you go. There's the four. And there's the three. Clonking fish. Absolutely beautiful. Funny enough, after it got dark, I didn't get another bite. So the feed just before it gets dark, after that, there's no point. Proper chunky fish. Beautiful. Let's get them back. Another one. Right, welcome back. Day two on the River Severn. Well, afternoon. And, uh, Still chasing that six pounder. Didn't really do too bad last time. Uh, two threes and a four, so it's a good start. I've uh, redefined my tactics this time. I'm trying something a little bit different. Still on the bread, exactly the same. There, look. Oosh. But I'm gonna try uh, something a little bit different, see if I can uh, turn some of these knocks into bites. I mean, they might just be small fish, but if you don't try, you'll never know, will ya? So, uh, Let's see if we can find it today.
Right, I've absolutely struggled today. I fished for about three hours. I haven't had a bite, really. And a couple of little taps I see. And then literally last 10 minutes, just before the light's gone, I've had two bites straight away. Um, so it just shows you about holding on and uh, don't give in, because they might just switch on and you gotta be there. So let's have a look at them. I know one's small, I don't know what the other one weighs. Have a little look and we'll get them back and I'll get home. There you go, three pound four. Been really hard work today. But every fish I catch, I feel like I'm getting close to the six pounder. And that's what it's all about, eh? So, tight lines. Right, two more today. Look, I think they're getting smaller to be fair. I think they're getting smaller. So, oh. basically peas in the pod. Couple of pound. Couple of pound, I reckon. 
maybe just over two and a quarter we'll weigh the other one we'll get them back two and a half so about two and a quarter and two and a half we're definitely uh, getting smaller but we'll keep trying and hopefully one day we'll uh, we'll get the six pounder so this is the two and the half still absolute pleasure to catch and again the bites come just just at the end oh yeah Literally just at the end of the, the session, two bites and nothing all day. Well, I've only been fishing two hours, but nothing for two hours. And then suddenly, boom, they come on the feed. So, well happy with that. Let's get them back. Right, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the support. And um, comment down below, because I want to know what your biggest chub is. I want to know the weight, I want to know the tactic how you caught it, and I want to know the location. So, for example, £5, 2 ounce caught on the meat on the River Severn. Uh, because I could do as much tips and advice I can get my hands on at the moment. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe, tight lines, and I'll see you very soon.